Hello once again, and today's video is going to focus on a band from Southern California, early 80s, maybe even late 70s, for a little bit, but the vinyl is from the early 80s, all the way up until today, and <clears throat> we're going to get into that, but first, in the last video I showed you a bunch of pictures that my daughter sent me um, in a box, and this is what I did with them. I got one of these and made a photo album of all the pictures. Well, not all of them. Some of them were kind of damaged and stuff, and some of them were doubles. But anyway, this is it. Photo album of my past life in Arizona and Needles, California. Ugh, let's not speak of that. That town's horrible. And I'm enjoying a tasty beverage from a mug that was sent to me by Tony Orlando Collins in Bullhead City, Arizona. Okay, let's get into it. These aren't, this isn't going to be a judging video. These are just records by the band The Adolescents. Meaning it's not going to be like from worst to best. It's just going to be the records and whether they're the great or whether they're just, uh, I play it every once in a while. Anyway, let's get into this. This is the new, brand new, Adolescence. And it's a bunch of cover songs by old punk rock bands. And I love it. This thing is great. I play it all the time. Um... Some of the songs that they cover, they do just as good a song. I, excuse me, they do just as good of a job as the original artist did. So, Russian Spider Dump by the Adolescents is a okay with me. Okay, this one is called Crop Duster by the Adolescents. It's a gatefold record, and it's pretty good. Not as good as this, but good kind of on its own. Definitely worth picking up if you see it in the record store. And this is the red vinyl copy, and this is the, the blue vinyl. So I bought both because that week... I was particularly in the money. Okay, here we go. Adolescence, Brats and Battalions. This one is out of sight. It's really good. Not as good as their first one, but then again, nothing really is. Uh, but definitely, Brats and Battalion. This is a great record. Um, this is on Nickel and Dime Records. This isn't an original copy. And... The record looks like this. And I've been playing this all week, and all week has been wonderful. All right, here is Balboa Fun Zone. This is the adolescence without Tony Adolescent singing. It has um, the Soto guy singing, and it has the Rick Agnew guy singing and it's different. It is not this. It is not this. It's kind of a thing on its own. But is it a thing that isn't any good? No, it's a thing that is wonderful. This is a great record. Balboa Fun Zone is good. You know what? Watch this. Bam. Here we go. Here is the first adolescence record. Includes three extra tracks. And this is the greatest thing you've ever heard. I love this thing. Um, on the back here, I got newspaper clippings and ticket stubs from when I went and seen them play with a bunch of other bands. I've seen the adolescence a bunch of times. Um, in the 90s, I started to go see him. I didn't have a chance to go see him in the 80s, like some of you lucky people. So the Adolescent's first record, 
Oh, geez, if you don't have it, I'm sorry. You really should. It's good fun. And it has songs on it you'll never forget. Okay, let's move on to these. This is the, again, here's a flyer from when I went and seen them in Las Vegas with the set list. And this is the Welcome to Reality 10-inch. And three of the songs that are on this were re-recorded for this. Just a little fact about this record and this record. This thing is a must-have. 10-inch Adolescence Welcome to Reality. You can't go wrong with it. All right, this is The Adolescence, The Complete Demos, 1980 to 1986. Um, it, it, it's okay. This is okay. Um, it's just a bunch of adolescent songs that aren't recorded as good as they are recorded on this thing. So it's like a like a rough version of this, but not rough in a good way. Just kind of rough. So if you see this for five bucks, it, it's worth five dollars. Probably not much more than five dollars though. The early demos. All right, here we go. This is the limited color vinyl. I can't remember what color vinyl this is, but this is the La Vendetta record. And this one's, this one's okay. Don't pay too much money for it. But it is an adolescence record, and it does have some good songs on it. Oh, here we come to this masterpiece. This is the Adolescence English Dogs in Europe. Uh, this one is great. Every song on this little EP, which this is a short record, not very many songs on it, are out of sight. There's my ticket stub when I went and seen The Adolescents, Seven Seconds, The Youth Brigade, January 18, um, doesn't say the date, anyway, at the one of the very early punk rock bowling things, where the um, punk rock bowling concerts were held in bars. And that's my ticket stub from one of those. Anyway... This baby is great. All four songs are out of sight. Definitely seek out this adolescence record with the plane crashing and the wolves on the back. Okay, this one is the adolescence presumed insolent. It's okay. Again, don't don't pay a lot of money for this thing. Um, it it's good. I'm not going to get too excited about this thing, but you know, it's it's an okay adolescence record. All right, this is the Adolescence Manifest Destiny. This one's also on red vinyl. This one came kind of warped. I, I bought this right when it first came out as an import, and it kind of came warped. Uh, this one is a little bit better than this one. So this is step one in goodness. This is step two in goodness. Yeah, this one's okay. It's, it's a good record. Uh, no adolescence record is a waste of money. Alrighty, here we go. This one is the fastest kid alive, and it shows an airplane dumping skateboards. Again, this one's good. It's not a waste of money. It's not going to change your life like this thing would, but your life might be just a little bit better if you have this in it. Anyway, Fastest Kid Alive, Adolescence. Um, the song Orange Crush is great, and Operation FTW is pretty good too. And Wars Aren't Won, Wars Are Fought. That one's good too. Maybe I should revisit this record. Give it another chance. Okay, the last adolescence record. And this one deserves talking about. This is Orange County Confidential. Half of this record is so good, 
you can't believe what you're hearing. The other half is so bad, you can't believe what you're hearing. I don't know what to say about this thing other than to not have it would be awful. It'd be the worst thing ever not to have this record. Uh, the songs Hawks and Doves, Lockdown America, California Sun, um, Pointless Teenage Anthem, um, OC Confidential. Those songs are the greatest songs you've ever heard. And then there are the other songs on this thing. And they're not the greatest songs you've ever heard. And it just kind of makes you sad. So, buy this record, record the good ones on like a little um, compilation tape and our CD and enjoy because this thing really is great. I don't know why they didn't make it an EP with just all the good songs. Hey, maybe they thought the other songs were good and they don't care what I think. Anyway, we'll have another sip from the mug that Tony Orlando Collins sent me and another look at this wonderful book of wonderful pictures. There's me wearing a bad religion shirt that I bought at a show in Tijuana in 19, I think it was 1991. I should have kept that shirt. And in the comments below, um, write comments about t-shirts that you bought at shows that you wish you would have kept. Okay, that's it. That's my adolescence video. And remember, this thing doesn't cost a lot of money. And it's worth everything. Okay, I gotta go mow the lawn with a push mower. And I mean a push mower without a motor on it. One of the old ones. So that I don't have a heart attack or something. Or maybe it will cause me to have one, I don't know. But this was my adolescence video. Good day, everybody!